All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video, and in this video, I just wanted to get a closer look for you uh, about this custom-made power jack inverter. This is custom-made to the customer's specifications for bulk orders. Before I get into this video, I again remind you, GenetrySolar.com or 833 Genetry toll free and text at that number to get a hold of me to find out if your company or entity needs an order of custom inverters. <clears throat> so, first thing I wanted to show you is that this is a true split phase inverter. You can see now this is on, and I do want to remind you never reach in your inverter when you have it open especially if it's on this is a charge transformer and yes it's extremely dangerous could kill you but if you look in here you can see that uh, there's a yellow wire coming off the transformer that's your center tap you have a red wire which is your l1 and then you have the black wire that's running off there that's your l2 and you can see that they do in fact go into separate i know that's hard to pick up they do in fact go into separate fuses on the front here so it is a true split phase inverter, not just some uh, two 110 volt lines coming out. Even though this board says 110, this board is actually custom made. So uh, it was in fact modified for this particular unit. Um, so yes, it is a true split phase inverter. But what's really cool about this thing is we all know that PowerJack has had problems with their transformers not being equal between L1 and L2. Obviously your power company is going to be pretty much equal between the two. Not in all cases, but as close to equal as possible. And some transformers with power jet converters, we have seen that they can vary as much as 8 volts. <clears throat> so I can show you here, this front connection here, L1N and L2. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, place my multimeter probes on L1 and N. We have 114.9 volts. And L2 and N, so you can see here, we have L2 and N, 114.9 volts. They are literally identical. PowerJack now makes most of their transformers, not all. <clears throat> There's still some lines out there where they don't make their own transformers. But one of the big sticking points that I had, and based on feedback from customers, is that L1 and L2 were pretty much lopsided in uh, one way or the other <clears throat> so with this particular inverter they went to some uh you know more lengths to make sure that l1 and l2 are equal and they are they are 100 percent equal so that makes things great for split phase and uh, making sure that both sides of your breaker panel uh, are energized equally so this is a big step forward for power jack and I'm happy that they finally are able to do that. Now, the standby uh, the standby loss. This unit is powered on. The fan is automatic. This is not a manual fan. The fan is, in fact, automatic by request of the customer. They want this unit to be uh, basically fully autonomous. They do not want any switches or anything else that the customer has to deal with except for some very, very basic stuff, such as replacing inverter fuses if needed. There is a power save mode on this, um, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty much fully autonomous. Now, at 25 volts, which is where I'm running on the inside of this, you'll see that we are running at 1.2 amps at 25 volts. That is the standby loss of this particular inverter. So when it is running... It consumes 1.2 amps per hour. You could probably get that down by making another couple of turns on this choke here, but it looks pretty crowded already, so that's probably about as low as we're going to go. I know that's a little high for some people, where well, you're going to say oh, it shouldn't consume more than a half an amp, <clears throat> but consider that this transformer is a split-phase transformer. Okay. A non-split phase transformer would likely consume much less than that, probably about half, but this is energizing both L1 and L2, being filtered 
Right here is L2 being filtered, up here is L1 being filtered, so it's going through several filters which is going to increase your standby load. And so while I'm sure that there's some things that they possibly could do to squeeze out even more and reduce the standby losses, we are looking at 1.2 amps per hour of standby loss just by having the unit powered on without energizing anything <clears throat> beyond the inverter. Now the fan itself is actually a high speed fan. It consumes 1.5 amps per hour. It's a 24 volt high speed fan to help keep the inverter cool when it is running at its 1000 watts and above. So this unit, if you did not see the previous video, is a 1000 watt custom inverter for a customer who is going to be placing hopefully a bulk order built to their exact specifications. This transformer here is actually rated to 2,000 watts, at least continuous. That is not a joke. This is a real 2,000 watt transformer. 1,000 watts per leg. So we got L1 at 1,000, L2 at 1,000. Now, it's going to be programmed with a limit of 1,500 watts for safety reasons. Just because there's nothing wrong with having some headroom. The customer ordered specifically a 1,000 watt inverter. We are providing them with 1,000 watts with some headroom so that if the customer were to accidentally go above that mark, even for an hour or two, they're not going to burn up the inverter. But it is going to be very clear to the customer who actually uses this inverter that it's a 1,000 watt rated system. So that means that they can use a thousand watts and not have to worry about running the inverter dry. <clears throat> so again, I already have a feeling <laughs> about the comments that are going to be like, that's ridiculous or, or why are they doing that? Or they should do this or anything else like that. Look, this particular inverter is built to customer specifications. It is not something for you to say, well, you should have done this or should have done that. This was a request that was made by a customer for a bulk order. This is what they needed, and this is what we provided them. To be on the safe side, we installed a slightly larger transformer that could handle more than the 1,000 watts continuous. And I'm going to be programming this particular inverter to basically shut down at 1,500 watts. And you've got an extra 500 watts there as some extra wiggle room for things like surges, microwaves, air conditioners, and things like that. It gives you that opportunity to have breathing room to be able to run the inverter so it's not always running out on the edge. That is the point. We don't want to build a 1,000 watt inverter that will handle 1,000 watts on the nose, and if it goes to 1,001 watts, then it's going to burn up. So... This is what we can build for you. If you have a company, if you install solar panels, inverters, whatever you need, we can build an inverter for you. Again, this is not a one-off, I need an inverter for my own house or whatever, please build me this custom thing, because it would cost too much money to design an inverter for just your needs. We design these inverters for mass quantity purchases. So if you have any questions and you would like a custom built inverter for a large order, Please get a hold of me at 833 Genetry. I warranty, that is Genetry Solar warranties all of these inverters. I will have spare parts on hand for your custom inverter so that if it does need service within the standard power jack warranty period, I can repair it quickly and easily and get it back to your customer. Thank you again for your support and take care.